Hi guys, welcome to Travel Life. I'm standing here in front of our newest camper. We just finished the conversion of our van and I'm gonna show you around. So when we open the door of the van, we have a really quick access to our gas chamber, which you can open with a push to open system. Inside of it is the gas bottle and we built this entire thing according to German guidelines. So we even have a hole into the bottom just in case of any gas leakage. The gas bottle is connected directly with our gas stove above. So this leads us into the kitchen space. Um, we try to build our vans that we use most of the space we have in order to gain as much storage as we could. So we have drawers here as well as there and they are all built with a lock system. So in order to unlock them you have to turn the knob and you can open the drawers. This way while driving things simply cannot fly out. Down here we have a blackboard, so if you want you can write everything with chalk on it and erase it, whatever you want to. And another special thing, we even have more space inside of here. Right next to it is located our fridge. The compressor of the fridge is outside, so we even have more space for food. So when you're cooking in the van, uh, you can turn on the fan so the air can come in or the air can go outside of the van. Yeah. Next to it we have the bathroom area. So if you have a look, you see that the shower is inside of here as well as the toilet. So if you want to take a shower, you can simply just take the toilet out of it. And we do have warm water in here so you can have a hot shower. Next to it, we have a bit more of kitchen space. So we have the cupboards up here, as well as some drawers down here. Another special thing is our secret compartment. So if you leave the van, you can simply just let your things inside of the van. Um, in order to open it, you have to pull on the hidden handle. and you have a secret space right there. Now let's get to the switches. So when you press the switch on the left, you can um, turn on the power inverter to activate the 230 volt system. Right next to it is the switch for the floor heating. So in winter or cold days, you can turn it on and you have floor heating on this floor as well as the floor above. The switches above are for lifting up the bed, but I will show you that later. Um, we have an electric output right here, as well as two other outputs underneath the table. So this leads us to the sitting, dining and sleeping area. We built in a lagoon table, so you can move the table aside just to have more space to sit down and to get to the cupboards up here. So as you can see, we have quite a lot of cupboards and in this cupboard we even have a Wi-Fi router. So even on the road you can have Wi-Fi. When you have a look up here, you see we have a rooftop window, so you can either let the sunlight in and you can keep the box out or at night you can darken up this place. Yeah, here we have some more light switches for the toilet and the kitchen and you can dim the lights in the camper. When you have a look down there, there's our diesel heating motor. So in cold days, you can have warm feet in here. So now we're gonna turn the seating area into the bed. So first we have to lift up the table. We can simply just take it out. So 
So now we're gonna remove this. So we can simply just put it under the bed as well as this pillow. So now we're gonna put the table right in here. And we are done building the bed. So the bed has a width of 140 centimeter right here and 160 centimeter up here. And um, right now you have a length of 185 centimeters. But as we said, we can lift the bed up so we gain another five centimeters on each side so we have a length of 195 centimeter in total and if you want you can lift the bed even further up in order to get even more space in the back which we will show you under the bed is where you find a water tank, our electrical setup, the linear actuators, as well as a lot of storage room. Another really cool feature is hidden underneath the van. The camera you see here is pointed towards the electric valve of the grey water tank. So from the cab you can conveniently see if you are located above a drain. There are so many other special features built into this van that we couldn't all show in one video. So if you're interested in finding out more or buying a van like Bari, don't hesitate to visit our website and reach out to us. Take care.